So are you going to be my helper today? Huh? You going to help me today? You all ready to jump in there? Learn how to change the toilet? Fix it? Oh yeah, show us how you clean. There we go. Welcome back to those of you that are subscribers to our channel. This is Tigner Adventures and my name is David and my wife Ninette and our little cat Tansy. We live full time in our motorhome. And if you are not a subscriber to our channel, then please subscribe. You know, we are, this is all about adventure. And some of them are really fun adventures and maybe today is not as much of a fun adventure because today we're gonna to be talking about fixing our toilet. It leaks, uh, we fill it up with water, and then when we come back, the water's all gone. And that's kind of a um, normal thing over time. It starts happening to everybody. So eventually you're gonna have this problem. And what happens is because it doesn't have that water as a barrier, then the gases from the black tank can start seeping up into your motorhome and making your motorhome smell. And we don't want that. And so today we're gonna actually show you how to remove the toilet and replace that seal. Different toilets are different. In this particular case, we have a uh, Dometic, um, we have a, a Sealand toilet, uh, which has actually been taken over by Dometic. And so um, this type of a toilet has, a, there's two pieces to it and the porcelain is actually bolted to, or you know, screwed. The porcelain bowl is actually separate from the base and there's a gasket that goes in between those. And that gasket's what's going bad and so it starts letting the uh, water leak around the plunger that uh, rotates back and forth as you flush the toilet. So today we're going to pull the toilet um, off the pedestal. We're going to show you how um, what that gasket is and how to replace it. Uh, but in our particular case, um, our gasket costs about sixty dollars. And depending on where you're at, the hard water, um, you know, all the mineral deposits that build up, can make it so that you know it only lasts maybe three months. You know, depending on your water. So um, we're going to actually just clean it and put it back together. And so I'm going to show you how to clean it and do that. That'll save you that sixty dollars. And depending on the area you're in, you may get uh, six months or you may get a year or two. So uh, we're going to actually visit that today. So before we start, we want to make sure that we turn the water off. Um, mine happens to have a turn-off valve that comes out of the wall. A lot of places, or a lot of ones, don't. So you might want to double check that. And if yours doesn't have that, just turn off the main water to the unit and open up the uh, faucets, flush the toilet, just kind of take the pressure off the line that way you don't have to um, you know get any extra water that you don't need uh, when you take it apart now this toilet happens to have a screw right here that holds this shroud on just covering things up and so we're gonna undo this screw to take this off but sometimes they'll have a little plastic tab here kind of like a little rubber tab that you can grab with a pair of pliers and pull and that will help uh, it's just two little pieces um, of plastic sticking out with a hole in the rubber that pulls around those two to kind of hold it on so um, If yours has the little screw here, we just undo this screw um, If it's that you just use the pliers to kind of undo it and then the shroud comes off the same exact way So Just gonna pull that out and around and that exposes the base of the toilet all right, so now that the uh, shroud is off and we look up in here, we can see the clamp that's actually holding the toilet, um, the porcelain onto the base. And so now we need to undo that uh, clamp. So if you look here, I've got this little multi-use um, tool. And if I just pull the, um, the adjustment thing out, it's got different uh, sizes on it. And I wanna use the bigger size. It will actually just fit right up in here, right onto the end of that. Um, uh, screw and so I can actually just sit there and undo that So I'm just gonna undo that Until that clamps nice and loose and the clamp itself will just fall down over the edge here So that's out of the way we've got these little clamps here that are actually squeezing the toilet the porcelain to the base and so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off and so here's one of them. You can see it's just got a um, little V-shaped kind of thing there almost, and all that's doing is just squeezing right here. So I'm gonna take those off. 
and sometimes when you take that shroud off you can look under here you can actually see that uh, what the model number is or serial number of the toilet what kind it is that way when you go into the RV repair shop you can actually tell them what you have and uh, get the right uh, seal to replace it if that's what you want to do get those out of the way at this point now the toilet lifts off there so um, that's what we uh, um, are ready to actually remove it and everything if I take this and let me slide it over a little bit I want to show you another issue that you can have with the toilet too So up here, you can see, I can get this without falling off here. I want to slide, slide down. Okay, this is our um, water valve right here. And in my particular case, I've got a extra piece on here, which is for a sprayer. So I'm gonna use this. Uh, so this is a nice setup because you, if you got anything left you can actually spray it out but if this goes bad um, we, when we first got our unit that was bad and um, it's because people didn't drain it if you don't drain your lines for winterizing things like that if you're not living in it full time then that does get frozen or the valve goes bad in there to replace that all you do is you just take this and you just wiggle this off Whoop. And that's what it actually looks like. So it just kind of fits into the end of that. So there's the end. And uh, it's just a big rubber gasket that's sitting there. And that's all there is to that. All right, so now that we've actually removed that, and you don't necessarily have to pull that out when you're doing it, you could just slide the tip it to the side if you want to um, when you're removing the the seal but you can see that it's got a lot of buildup right here okay that's actually the area that i'm in right now is really um, got a lot of hard water so you get a lot of hard water deposits there um, just the probably maybe the urine buildup things like that that get kind of left in there it's just a not the best design compared to the newer toilets but uh, this is how you're going to actually replace it and you can instead of just replacing this whole piece it costs about sixty dollars for this particular gasket it's a two-piece gasket I'm gonna pull it apart and show you here when we actually lift this off that's what the the ball here is actually rubs against this section of the of the gasket here and it's actually a two-piece gasket so if I take this on that's the other side of it and you'll notice that it says right here if I can get the light just right anyway it says this side up so when you're putting this gasket back in you want to make sure that you're actually putting this side up because that's the side this side right here is what's meant to slide against this this uh, ball piece here so um, you can see all this buildup on here, and that's why, you know, it leaks. That's why it won't hold water. So what we can do here is um, we can actually use a little paint scraper tool uh, for scraping stuff off. And we can actually scrape all this hard stuff off there, both sides, and off all around here too. And clean that up really good and everything. Put a little bit of uh, um, lubricant stuff on there and uh, that's not gonna deteriorate the rubber. Usually like a, maybe you could put a little bit of vegetable oil on it or something like that. Um, they do have some uh, uh, stuff at the plumbing store that for gaskets and stuff too. Uh, but anyway, you can clean this all up, put it all back together, and you don't have to spend that $60. So, uh, but uh, at some point, you're gonna have to replace it completely. Um, and so in our particular case, I'm just gonna clean it I'd rather save the 60 bucks and I'm just gonna let it go and it usually will last again I mean the only reason it's leaking is because of this buildup so depending on where you're at you know if the water's not that uh, bad or anything like that you could get away with doing this little repair and not having to uh, you know pay that $60 and have it still last another six months or whatever time frame depending on where you're at 
So all I'm gonna do is just scrape all this stuff off and get this as clean as possible. I'll wash it off a little bit. Um, it's just a calcium buildup. And uh, sometimes you can use a little bit of CLR on here to help kind of, uh, you know, clean it, the final cleaning stage of it. But uh, it's not that big a deal. And, you know, you're saving, just think of it this way. If, you, if you're kind of squeamish here and don't want to touch this, which, you know, you can wash your hands when you're done. So it's not that big a deal to me. But if you're one of those that can't stand to dump your toilet and, or look at things, then maybe this isn't for you. But you're going to save 60 bucks. So, you know, not a bad setup. So I'm just cleaning that off. I'm going to wash that all off and it'll be nice and clean. Uh, this one over here, it's just, uh, this really doesn't seal anything here. But So I'm just going to kind of scrape it off, but it doesn't, I still want to clean it. So there we are. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to take this over to the faucet and wash it off outside. And, um, and then uh, we'll meet back inside at the toilet so we can put that back on again. Okay, our gasket's all clean. And this is looking at the base of the toilet. And I just wanted to kind of point out a couple things here. You want to make sure that you clean all this stuff off of here too. So, now, you know, clean this uh, um, plunger thing want it to not have any rough spots on it so just kind of clean it all off i usually take a little scouring pad and scour it so it's nice and clean so i'm going to clean finish cleaning this up and then we'll get right back to it in just a second all right so i've cleaned that all up i've used my little scraper here the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to nick this or anything and i just use some of this uh, uh green um cleaning pad and I just clean that off really good and make sure that's nice and smooth. If you have any little chunks left over then it just creates a place in the gasket where it can let water through so that's why you clean that up. Now I'm ready to put my gasket back on so you can see it's all nice and clean. I actually have some of this uh, silicone uh, grease that I'm going to put on it. It's waterproof so I'm just going to put that around the edges of it um, just to uh, kind of help it seal it. And again, that just helps uh, so it doesn't build up. So uh, get all that build up on there. So it just kind of prolongs it a little bit. Um, I've seen people use um, vegetable oil to do that too. And uh, so I guess it just kind of depends. My, my biggest concern is not getting something that uh, is going to actually destroy the, the rubber piece itself. So. Now, if you look at this gasket, remember I said, if you look right there onto the right, you can say where it says this side up. So you wanna make sure that's up. And then this one has two holes in it. It has a hole and then a side mount. And in here, this is where the water comes up and it sprays it all around here. And that's what goes up into your bowl to, to circulate the water. And then over here is a little guide. So I'm just gonna kind of sit that in there. Make sure that that's all in there correct. And I'm gonna do the same with my my rubber gasket. Now this one doesn't have a right and you know upside down type setup on it, so it doesn't matter on that. But there is a lip around this base, and I want to make sure that rubber piece is inside that lip all the way around there, and it's not sitting up on it. So once that's done, whoops, you can see my hole's not lined up there, so I don't have that in there right. So I gotta turn it over. There we go. Remember my holes have to line up here. I gotta have that hole coming through there. And this is all in there perfect. So now we're ready to actually go. So again, make sure that the, it's not sitting up on that lip. We're ready to go. So right here, you can see that uh, this is the bottom of the toilet. Here's my hole that's in there and my little guide, okay? 
So the other thing I can do is take my little scraper and scrape around here, scrape off all this junk. All right? So I just kind of clean that all up. Again, I don't want to mix the porcelain or anything like that, but I'm just cleaning all this junk off of it. So that it has a nice smooth surface to um, to uh, seal against. Just like that. All right. Okay, so just like that, nice and clean now. Oops. All right, so once we get that nice and clean, then we're ready to actually set it on top of our gasket. So we're gonna actually um, All right, so now I'm just gonna take this. Remember, here's my piece right here. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna set that up there like that. While I'm holding it, I'm gonna go ahead and push this back into to this little hole that's in the center. And if you put some of that silicone grease on there, it helps that go into that. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set it on top of my gas. Okay, so we got our base sitting back on there again. We lined up our little hole here. Make sure you put this on first. All right, and then we're going to uh, put the clamps back on um, that we took off before. Remember, they have this little groove in there, so that's gotta fit back up between the toilet and the base. And by doing that, then uh, we wanna just, we're gonna clamp those together. And so we're just gonna Put the clamp back up over that and just tighten it down. And you want to make it nice and snug because what it's doing is squeezing the porcelain down to the base uh, through that rubber gasket. So we got to make sure we get that tight. Now that that um, this band is all tightened in here, nice and tight, and it's all seated, then we have to put this cover back on. And you'll notice that it's got a spot right here that is bigger, sticks out in the back. And that's where that um, clamp, the screw is for that clamp. So you need to make sure the screw on the clamp is in the back. And then when you put this in there, that's gonna end up being oriented into the back. Okay, so to put it on, you just take it around. So you put the screw back in there just like you took it out to begin with, and then that completes it. I've Tightened it all back up and it's all done. And now we've got Tansy here modeling the toilet. She likes the repairs. Or she just likes a nice cool lid, I'm not sure which. Well, that was not necessarily a pleasant job. And if you are squeamish, then maybe this isn't what you want to do. Maybe you want to call someone to have them fix it. But um, if you uh, dump your tanks ahead of time, uh, turn the water off, everything's all flushed out. It's really not that smelly of a job, and you can handle it, so um, it's not really any different than just dumping your black tanks. Um, actually, it probably smells less than dumping your black tanks, so, um, and uh, maybe I have a disadvantage because I don't, they have to be pretty bad smelling before I really start to complain, so um, that doesn't bother me as much as maybe some others. But it's an easy job and hopefully this was of value to you and you got something out of it. Hopefully you'll be able to use it to repair your toilet and not have to pay to have someone come do it. Again, the part was 60 bucks, you know, if you want to actually put a new one in. If you have a tech come out, you know, it's going to be at least, um, well, a mobile tech would have to come out unless you want to take it in. But in that case, usually it's a $50, $60 um, show up fee and then an hour of labor, which, you know, is like 100 bucks or 100 20 bucks or something so you can save quite a bit of money if you do this yourself so anyway again hopefully this was of value to you and uh, again you know please support our channel by subscribing make comments below that's really important too. give it a thumbs up we we do need those thumbs up because then uh, YouTube actually uh, suggests us to others and helps our channel grow we're glad to bring these videos to you so make sure that you uh, comment in below with uh, other things you may want us to do and we're we're happy to do that remember life's an adventure 
this one wasn't quite as pleasant as some of the ones that we um, are having, but uh, it's something that sometimes you have to do uh, when you're full time. So take care and uh, we'll see you down the road somewhere. Thank you.